Hey guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to take a look at Meowth's Karata. I think this deck actually has a lot of potential now with Charizard a bit on the rise. Uh, I think it's definitely got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of history behind it in a way. Obviously, uh, Meowth's Karata's ability, which allows you to discard an energy and, and place three damage counters anywhere on your opponent's side of the board. It has been a bench Pokemon for this one, but abilities that have allowed you to uh, attack opponent's bench Pokemon with just the use of an energy have been around for a long time, and historically they're pretty hit or miss. Uh, but I do think Meowth has some promise on top of not just having this really strong ability, but also having a really decent attack that can hit for 220 damage fairly easily. It pairs really well with Radiant Greninja. I think a really obvious pairing with this is also Arceus, just being able to Starbirth and get these things into play. But one of the most important things, I'm talking about Charizard before, uh, is that Meowth can hit Charizard for weakness. It can very, very easily take out a, um, a an active Charizard EX, or it can take out benched uh, Charmanders fairly easily. I do think that if you manage to get this going a little bit faster than a Charizard, or if you even get this going about the same rate as a Charizard, I think you have a really, really, really positive matchup into it. As soon as you take out one of their Charizards, if they have to put down a Charmander on the bench, that's your option to go with Medicham, hit that Yoga Loop, get an extra turn. That paired with Quick Search on another turn uh, is just, a phenomenal, phenomenal combo of abilities and um, just different resources you can work with. I like this 3-3-1 line with Iono, Colrus, and Professor's Research. I think it's really strong. Uh, Cheryl, I think, is a no-brainer inclusion. Miascarada has uh, some pretty high HP, pretty hard to hit. Clara is just some easy recovery. You can quick search it, put it back in the deck with Palpad. I like putting um, Clara in these kind of diverse supporter line decks that run Quick Search, I think it has uh, a lot of potential, a lot of strength to it. Gardenia's Vigor, uh, it's a one of here just because it has a lot of synergy with Energy Retrieval. If for some reason you lost some uh, you know, attacker and you're kind of behind on energy, you need to catch up, you could Raihan or you could get both energy on all at once. It just kind of, um, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of taste here. You could go with Raihan for sure, um, but I personally like the Gardenia's Vigor for its, um, early game potential in case you really needed it uh, to not have to wait for a knockout to be able to use it. And the one copy of boss, I think it just makes sense to have at least one copy, but not more than one copy at the same time. Uh, it's just easy to quick search for, grab something off your opponent's bench and make sure to get rid of that really quickly. Maybe they're sitting on a Charizard and they're using that to fuel fire attackers. Maybe they run Intei or maybe they run uh, Delphox V. And so it's important to uh, be able to pick up things that you need if they're big on the bench. Uh, but otherwise, this doesn't really struggle with things on the bench. It doesn't really need a gusting effect too hard. Uh, the Palpad makes it pretty easy to find these things. So the four Red Candy, obviously four Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball. And with three Artisan, you need that extra surge to make sure you get that Pidgey down turn one, a couple of Sprigatito if you need. I think the Kleppa is very situational, um, but I, I, I do like it in this deck for the simple fact that if you do go second, a lot of times with Arceus decks, you're running Path, you're running Judge. And so your idea on, on a turn two is Path, Judge, hope you find a DTE and hit the Trinity Charge, but of course we're doing none of that. We're doing, <laughs> you know, we don't need a Trinity Charge. We don't um, have a Path Hand Disruption type play here because that really hurts us uh, a lot too. So not a big fan of going second here. So we need a kind of a decent option. And I think that does exist in Cleffa. Nine, three energy split. Felt like this was pretty solid. Uh, DT obviously works on all of your attackers. Fantastic to see. Uh, even if you had to attack with Pidgeot, you have, those options, so having three, I think does make sense. And the nine basic energy I found is about the perfect number. You can't be discarding these like crazy, but it does work really well with the ability. You can usually find one every time you need one. So I'm a big fan of this list. I think uh, Masquerada stocks are up. I'm very excited to see if potentially, you know, this list or a similar list could make this be something consistent and fast enough to actually hold a place in the meta, but maybe not. You know, it's kind of just a fun deck to, to mess around with. But before we get into some matches, I'd just like to say, if you don't know what Turnkey TCG is, it's a series of channels I run on YouTube. There's four channels. There's a main channel, a PAX channel, a DEX channel, which you're currently on, and a VODs channel for lives, live streams and VODs. So if you're interested in any of that, there are links in the description below. You can check them out, subscribe to what you want. Don't subscribe to what you don't want. That's the point, right? That you can choose what's in your feed. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into some matches. Oh man, a phenomenal start. Okay. A little bit awkward in terms of what we could possibly get off this. Looks like we're playing against Charizard too. Um, hopefully we get a decent mulligan here. 
And um, okay, Rare Candy is okay, for sure. Makes me feel a little more comfortable getting rid of Florigato. Um, we do want Pidgeot, or Pidgey, we do want Arceus. There's a lot of things we do want, but I think we may just have to choose unless my opponent is feeling generous and gives us an Artisan, that would be nice. At least they don't know what they're playing against here. I do see Charmander and Arceus hit the board. And an Artisan, okay, great. Exactly what I wanted, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you see his Pidgey comes down. I would love to hit my opponent with an Iono. If we get it all top deck that, I really don't want to get rid of all of these resources, but at the same time, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Mm, so sad. All right, it's three Charmander on the board. You love to see it, actually. We eat Charizards. Would have been uh, a little bit scarier if my opponent played down a Radiant Charizard. That's definitely pretty hard to deal with. Uh, Got to make sure you take care of that on your terms, or else it hurts. Oh no! <laughs> Did not want to see you necessarily. All right, let's. Um... Oh well. So we grab Pidgey here. Get the Pidgeot in hand, of course, right? Yes. Okay. Do we play it really slow? How slow do we play this? <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead. We can Ultra Ball. Arceus. Okay, here's a hard question. But I think what we do here we just need to burn the rare candy. We need a Sprigatito, or a, um, we need all these resources in play this turn. So we need to get a Sprigatito. Grasping Draw will get us a lot. We have plenty of rare candy in the deck. We have the V-Star. Okay, some decent things for next turn. Uh, you know, we're not having to choose between things right now anymore, which is good. Um, the V-Star and the Pidgeot. We're gonna make things a little easier to get swinging. Get moving. We'll see if my opponent realizes that they need to be moving with, oh no, no! <laughs> That's down two Ultra Ball and one to the bottom of the deck, as well as only one Arceus V-Star, and it's also at the bottom of the deck. We only have, as well as the um, Path, Path. You run Path in Charizard? <laughs> what? Um, um, Sorry, I'm really thrown off by that. But uh, yeah, we have all of our good resources now at the bottom of the deck. Looking at a dead hand here, no options here. Probably get a swing from my opponent since they have the Arceus V-Star. Gonna get them a Pidgeot, gonna get them a Charizard. <laughs> not, not good to see, that's so frustrating. Oh man. Do you see the quick search? By finding one of these Charizard pieces. Probably gonna get a Charizard in play. Two to the Arceus, one to the active, but no, it doesn't have it actually. Oh man, there's a Colrus. That's not so bad. Maybe this is our game. Maybe we are okay. <laughs> Artisan, let's get uh, another Sprigatito in play. Yes, and come on Colrus. Let's see, no V-Star. Got Candy Candy Iono. That's probably the best we can do with that. Keep them safe. Iono later. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's put damage on Arceus, because he'll lead with it later. Attach the Miascarada. And draw for five. Or two. Two. I had five in hand. What am I talking about? <laughs> Gardenias would have been really nice to see this turn. It would have meant we could have had a swing. Uh, leading Miascarada here would be pretty hard for my opponent to deal with. But, I'm gonna see the Mysterious Tail, and it does hit the Rare Candy. So it means we're almost certainly seeing a Charizard. Let's see what he does with it. Quick searches. Here's the Charizard coming down. I accelerate to the Mew for the retreat, and then two to the Charizard, I'd assume. Let's see. 
Okay, spreading it around a bit, but not to the Mew. Already had the turn attachment. I guess my opponent is choosing to wait for me to knock out the Mew. Um, but I'm okay with waiting, honestly. Um, I'll just keep putting damage on the board. Won't get his... Um... Oh, fantastic. Great top deck, great top deck. Um, yeah, I'll just continue putting damage on the board. I'm not going to give him any, uh, any resources necessarily to work with. We can keep using the Cleffa. I guess I'll go ahead... Hit the bouquet magic, and um, we can put this really anywhere we want, but I think let's keep it on the V-Star. Uh, do we have the, I know I can't get it with this, but do we have, we don't have Metacham in deck. It's prized, um, and I hate to Iono here, because that'll put our last bird candy on the bottom, but I think we kind of need to. Just need to see new cards. Or we could Colrus. I think Colrus might be a better option. Let's Colrus. Okay. Not really what I wanted to see, but... Oh, well. Um, go ahead. Let's keep spreading some damage around here. I think we'll put it on this Charmander. I don't really want to knock anything out just yet. Let's go ahead and put a DTE to Miascarada. Hold on to this energy. Hit the Grasping Draw. Okay, energy retrieval is great to see, actually. That's exciting. I like that. Be able to use that to get uh, a couple energy back and just indiscriminately just put them, put some damage on the board without worrying about it. Mysterious Tail does hit a super rod. I'm not sure what you would want with that, really. Kind of blocks you from researching a big hand away. Um, so, kind of odd choice, but okay. Um, quick search. Probably wants to get another Charizard in play, but no, she's an escape rope. Uh, I guess let's lead Arceus. My opponent can't knock it out with anything. Not even the Arceus V-Star and a choice belt. We're good there. And just go straight for damage. Can't blame him on that. We don't have any switching cards in this deck, which can be a little bit frustrating to deal with. Um, and obviously nothing off the Trinity Nova. Another energy retrieval, that's nice to see. Um, do we have any more DTE in the deck? We have two actually, okay great. And three uh, grass energy. Really good stuff, great stuff. Um, you'll have to see it actually. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we can come up with the retreat with Gardenia's Vigor here using an energy retrieval. So let's do that. I know we have two energy in the discard pile. Um, we don't have to give away that we have another one. So let's go ahead and Gardenia's Vigor. Great stuff. Oh, it has to be to the bench. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Forgot. Um, maybe less of a great card then. Get Radiant Alakazam down. Let's go ahead and just put damage on the board. Might as well knock out the Charmander, right? Doesn't really fix Jarzard's math. Do we see a DTE? Obviously not. They're all out of the prizes. <laughs> we get one more bouquet magic. And we do need some on the Charizard at some point. I say we put it on this Charmander and um, I'm okay with passing. Yeah. I want to leave some of this energy in the discard pile for Clara or the energy retrieval. No need to put it back in the deck in case my opponent decides to Iono. Do you see an attachment going straight to the Charmander and actually going for the EX? Fine with that, absolutely. Um, wouldn't be removing much damage, but it'd actually be kind of frustrating if my opponent played a Cheryl here. Um, but I'm assuming they don't have it. Already quick searched. So it'd be kind of odd <laughs> to play Cheryl at this point. Just attaching to the Mew. Not sure why. You already have a pivot option in the Pidgeot. So not a big fan of that play. Doesn't make much sense. But okay, let's go ahead and lead with the Cleffa here. 
Um, and our Miascaradas are basically safe unless my opponent decides to um, do something wonky with um, with um, the Radiant Charizard. But I think we're okay. Take a prize. Sprigatito. Meh. <laughs> I guess I'll put it down with the idea that there's a backup with Clara if we need to. Um, let's go ahead and we'll take the KO here. And then if we can just set up like a boss play, if we have boss in the deck, I don't even know. Um, let's go ahead. We can take the KO. Do we want to Iono? I don't think so. I think we hold off for now. Have we attached this turn? Do we need to? I don't think so. I think we're good. We'll just go ahead and go straight for the KO then. Uh, and Charizard will be swinging for uh, 300 even. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. That uh, it'll be short of the knockout by 10 damage. Uh, just goes to show that Charizard does have a bit of a damage problem. Um, all it really takes at this point, Radiant Alakazam moving one damage to one of these Charizards and the backup Miascarada can get it even if my opponent manages to take a knockout here. The only thing we need to worry about is a stranded Radiant Alakazam, really. That's the only thing that can lose us this game, or a Cheryl, um, but Iono, so we won't be able to strand the Radiant Alakazam. We should pretty much have game on board at this point, unless, was this, does this guy run path? <laughs> this was the guy who runs path, but doesn't play the path, so we're good. Um, yeah, I mean, game is on board. He should be able to see that, but if not, we'll just go ahead, Painful Spoons, we can move one damage here, uh, and then suddenly we're swinging for 440 damage. <laughs> there it is, Charizard deleted, taking our last two prizes. So, yeah, uh, this thing's pretty gnarly into Charizard if you get it going. Uh, pretty excited about it, I like it, it's a, it's a fun match. <laughs> hey, before we get into the next match, just wanted to point out, only a small percent of you guys are actually subscribed. I get it, I'm new on the scene, but if you guys are interested in seeing more of this, I would really appreciate a subscription. It's free, you get to see when new videos come out. If you're interested in any deck list at all, I'll be putting them out, top tier, bottom tier, everything in between, so subscribe, do it, do it now. Okay, so not entirely sure what we're going against here. Manaphy lead is a little bit ambiguous, but um, can get the Arceus in play now. Let's just check, Pidgey's here, Pidgeot is here, we got the rest of the Miascarada. Four rare candy in the deck, so it'd be nice if we could get another uh, Sprigatito in play, we could get him in the active going right now, but doesn't look like that's going to be something to work out. So let's just go ahead, Arceus down, attach the active. We can Ultra Ball later, figure things out, but um, it's the best we can do for now. Of course, Mana Feet, not something we're bothered about. Obviously, um, you know, we go past Mana Feet using Bouquet Magic from Miascarada, and we actually do as well with um, uh, the the V, what is it? <laughs> Metacham, because it places two damage counters. And that's also why uh, you can do it with DTE without actually getting rid of all the damage outputs. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty happy about that. <laughs> so Manaphy is not something to worry about, but it is an easy prize if my opponent doesn't get it out of the active, doesn't promote something else. But let's see what they battle VIP for. A couple of Combe. So we are looking at a Lost Box. He'll definitely have a switch option, but I do like this matchup a lot. Uh, pretty hard to hit into... Uh, any of our, our guys for KO, really. Um, obviously, Meowth Garada, 310 HP. That's pretty intense. We do see a switch, so it's going to be Lost Tina, um, which is not my favorite matchup. <laughs> Definitely has a way of dealing with the Meowth Garada, but still, there's that 30 damage to have to worry about, so you do have to kind of juggle a little bit with the, um, with the Sableye, but that's a play we can also take advantage of uh, using Metacham. Possibly yoga looping, getting our big two turn, turn, our, our turn into another turn. Um, oh my gosh, burnt the Radiant Greninja and a, and a Steel Energy. I guess this is Gudra then. Um, kind of surprising to see, but okay. A little bit frustrating to see Sprigatito go to the bench. Maybe my opponent will play another escape rope and be a total, total bro about it. Be, be nice about it. Burning a lot of resources, especially for not having a Gudra in play. I wonder if my opponent realizes that it might be just impossible for the Gudra to do much in this matchup. I mean, it would definitely hurt. 
There's a cram. Another escape rope. No, 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 no. I don't want the escape rope this time. Come on. Dude. Why? Why? That's the worst. There's the Gudra. Frustrating. It's so hard to get a good, clean starting hand in this deck. Mmm. Okay, let's just see the spit innocently. Yep. All right. Well, we still have access to Arceus. We still have a big research coming down. What could we possibly want next is a good question. Well, we do have a nest ball. Let's go ahead and put another Sprigatito in play. Fingers crossed on that one. Ultra Ball will get rid of Energy Retrieval and Miasco Rata. And with this, uh, I guess, mm, it's easy to get a Sprigatito. It's a little bit harder to get an Arceus, but I do want to check. Let's just see our count. If we have Super Rod in deck, we do. So we're going to need that, having to burn two Miascarata here. Hurts really, really badly. Nothing good off that. That's kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> um, I think in this case we burn the Colrus and hold on to the Iono for next turn. Go ahead and put into play a Pidgey. Attached to the active. It's gonna have to be a pretty painful pass, for sure. Not the best thing to see. All right. You know, what does my opponent want this turn? Definitely wants some more cards in the Lost Zone. Wants to get that Hisuian Gudra V-Star swinging. Getting the first swing would be pretty frustrating. It'd be hard for us to get Arceus out of the active to actually deal with it. Let's see. I've already got two escape rope down. I don't think there's one lost zoned. So there are two more in deck. We could see some shenanigans with that. We see the psychic energy, so that does confirm there is in fact a uh, Sableye in this deck. I'm okay with this Iono, even though that was our only copy of Masquerada in deck, <laughs> actually. <laughs> That's fantastic. The Pidgeot, the rare candy, a backup rare candy, and a super rod. We get to do basically whatever we want this coming turn. Uh, hopefully we don't see some big play with an escape rope here, taking out one of our bench. If we had to cough one up, I guess we have to put the Pidgeot up. Just frustrate, or the Pidgey up, uh, which is you know, not something we want to do, but something we may have to do. Pokey Gear, getting a boss. Not sure why you'd play the Pokey Gear right now, but going for the spit innocently, fantastic to see. And, and our opponent is still at four in the loss zone. It's going to be a little bit more before Mirage Gate comes online. Get another down there, and let's go ahead, hit the Super Rod. Sprigatito and two Meowskarada back to the deck. Love to see it. All right. So, we kind of want to get out of this hand, and we kind of want to Iono our opponent here. So, um, I think what we do here is we Starbirth, and we get this into Meowskarada and the DTE, because we need to take a knockout. Looks good to me. Um, we know our opponent plays Sableye, so as, as nice as Cleffa is for a lot of different reasons, we can't play it down. Um, let's go ahead and hit the Bouquet Magic. Hit Comfey or Gudra. Let's go Gudra, actually. That makes the most sense, I think. Because we're going to need to make up that damage somehow. I'll go ahead and Quick Search. And I am fine with an Iono here. Two Nest Ball left in the deck. Uh, two Sprigatito, obviously back to two Miascarada. We have a couple Rare Candy in hand, three Artisan. Good stuff to see. A lot of options. I'm happy about it. Um, it's going to be pretty rough for my opponent to respond with a knockout here as well, which is nice to see. I'm okay with giving the Artisan. Um, there's nothing really that could function too well for my opponent here, and I'd like to be set up to potentially get another Miascarada and play this coming turn, but let's go ahead Trinity Nova, 180 for the knockout. No energy from deck necessary. And uh, we'll go ahead and take our first prize. Tied the game back up. Radiant Alkazam off the rip. That is nice to see for sure. Can definitely help if we want to take out a Confei or maybe set up a Yoga Loop. We do have DTE in hand. We don't really have a Yoga Loop quite yet in hand, but maybe we do. Yeah, we do actually. Energy Retrieval, one Meowth Garada. Quick search for the Medicham. 
uh, and then we'd have to Radiant Alakazam 20 damage to a Comfey, and then we get two turns there. That would be pretty big, and it's another way to get around the um, the Gudra's effect. Uh, you know, I think so. Let's just double check the text. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 80 less damage from attacks. Your opponent's next turn. So, presumably, uh, <laughs> your second turn would not be your next turn. Burns Path. Interesting. Must have been a pretty hard choice. I guess it was between that and Chorus or something. I can't imagine what my opponent was looking at there to have to choose to put Path into the Lost Zone, but I will take that. Definitely could have shut us down. Could have hurt quite a bit. There's a Zamazenta. All right. There for that Retaliate. I believe it swings for 220 after one's knocked out. Yes. Uh, it takes less damage if it has energy attached. 30 less if it has an energy attached. Okay. But of course, um, it's not a big deal for us. It doesn't really affect any of our attacks um, as long as we have damage on it. To begin with, from Yeskurata, our suits can still come up with it. You see another flower selecting. Should put my opponent at six, I believe. Yes, but it looks like it's another difficult one. Maybe having to choose between path and a valuable resource again. I would love to see another path hit the, <laughs> the lost zone. That would be fantastic to see. Um, but otherwise, see a water energy go. I don't believe we've seen a turn attachment. What can my opponent do here this turn? They're taking their sweet time, but hey, nobody ever said lost zone played fast. So, um, do you see a lost vacuum? Gonna bump the count, so that'll put Mirage Gate online. So they could potentially swing with Gudra here, but they're gonna need to switch a manual attachment and a Mirage Gate. It's gonna be three more resources. And the switch cannot be a escape rope. If it is, I feel fine leading Pidgeot to take a little bit of damage. Like I said, we could come up with that um, with that yoga loop play to get around it. As long as we don't see path come into play, we should be fine. See, the defiance band. Wow. Okay. Um, not doing anything right now, so I'm okay with that. But we'll do something later, which might be a little frustrating. Swinging for 230, but now we see the pass. Okay. Boss would be fantastic here. Yeah, I think if we, um, okay, okay, let, let's map this. First, we obviously want Radiant uh, Alakazam in play. So, let's bouquet magic onto the Hisuian Gudra. Yes, I believe. Oh, goodness. Okay. If we do that, 220. Uh, but you'll be short with the DTE. So, the boss play doesn't work. We could choose to go for the Yoga Loop. I think that's cool. I like it. And it gets this two prize liability out of the active. We do have boss in deck. We have Cheryl in deck too, which could be useful later. But we're running low on energy. So we're going to have to hit the Confei on the bench, but I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead, hit the bouquet magic. 30 here. DTE. Painful spoons. We have not used a supporter yet, so I do think Colrus makes the most sense at this point. No need for Sprigatito, but we do need to hold on to the Cheryl. I want the Stadium Bump, and I want the Energy. So we're going to have to burn Colrus. It hurts a little bit, but we do have Iono still. So we're not in some dead hand just yet. Go ahead and pay the Retreat. And put up Metacham. Yoga Loop, and we can take a second turn here. Take down that Comfey. All right. Oh, one prize. <laughs> Always try to take two. Be nice to take two, but whatever. Um, now, what could we do to try and get Hasun Gudra this turn? Well, we definitely want to hit it with the bouquet magic. That's for sure. So go ahead and do that. Okay. Now, there's nothing to really do with Radiant Alakazam. Can... Go ahead and energy retrieval. And let's quick search. I, 
think what makes the most sense is to just swing with the active. Um, do we want... Yes, I think we want to, um, to Iono here. Just see a fresh hand. There's a lot of good things we could potentially find. Probably shouldn't hit the um, energy retrieval if we were going to go for the Iono, but that's fine. Um, just want to see some new cards. So let's go for that. Okay, yeah, uh, Florigato is, is actually great to see. Got an energy for next turn. Um, hopefully we don't get pathed. That would be pretty limiting, but at least we have a way to deal a lot of damage on board currently. Miascurata. And maybe we can find some ways out of this hand off the top deck. There's no guarantee my opponent has path to begin with, though. So, if my opponent did swing into Miascurata, it would be for 230. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't fix any math. Um, but we could respond with a hit for 120, putting it 160, which is not good. That's pretty decent for a Moisture Star. Um, we may need to try and come up with prizes elsewhere. We're out of DTE as well. If we want to get this Metacham swinging again, we're going to have to use Cheryl. <laughs> Not the best option. I can't imagine my opponent whiffs on an energy here. Any energy will work. But it is seemingly a difficult Colrus. Should put them to nine, I believe. For my opponent, yes, nine, okay. And um, that Radiant Greninja still seems crazy to me. A lot of great resources in here. I can't imagine what my opponent's been seeing. Uh, we do see a Super Rod. Putting back Psychic Energy. I think that might have been it. Do see a Mirage Gate, I guess going to attach to the active and to the benched Sableye. Let's see. Yep. Please no path. That would be best. No path would uh, make my day. <laughs> um. Hmm. So we could potentially get a knockout on the Sableye here, just getting this other Miascarada in play. Two Bouquet Magic and a Painful Spoons, and there goes the Sableye. I think that's a good idea. Um, obviously, you know, 80 damage straight to the Miascarada, and suddenly that's two prizes for my opponent. So not a big fan. Let's go ahead, Ultra Ball. We don't really need any more of this Ball Search at this point in the game. It's kind of dead cards. Let's get the other Miascarada down. We are going to be attacking for less into my opponent here. Let's go ahead, quick search. And let's grab... Well, we could Gardenia. Or Cheryl, I mean. But no, I think Iono makes the most sense. Yes. Um, okay. So a couple of Bouquet Magics we'll put on Sableye down there. And what's important this turn is to make sure we get a turn attachment. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go for that. And we can Painful Spoons to get rid of that Sableye. Two off the Gudra, making it a little more uncomfortable for my opponent to choose to use the Moisture Star. Definitely want to make sure you use that at the right moment. And we have an energy for next turn in case we need to get this other Miascarada ready. My opponent at 140. If they don't moisture, uh, moisture Star, I can knock out with Miascarada next turn, just this energy in hand. But if they do, which I, I guess it would make sense for them to do, what is our plan? Good question. <laughs> I guess we can buy time. My opponent is down by a lot of prizes, five prizes left to take. And has to two-shot most of everything here. Can one-shot the Metacham, can one-shot the Arceus V-Star. But can't one-shot the Miascarata if we respond with that. <sighs> Choosing for the Sableye. And the Zamazenta. Trying to make things a little more difficult. 
for a potential boss play on the Zamazenta, but wasn't really looking at that. <laughs> Wouldn't be too helpful. We'll see what Colrus can find. Pretty easy choice. No wonder my opponent went quicker on that one. <laughs> um, six cards in deck. I just noticed that. That's pretty important. Um, only one path has hit the Lost Zone. Can't imagine where the others must be for my opponent. Hits us with the escape rope. I'm fine with leading Pidgeot here. Um, and gonna go for the Sableye play. Okay. Um, yeah, this pretty much gives us game with boss off of the quick search if my opponent doesn't have a path. But if they, I mean, I still have Artisan. Um, they played Colrus. Yeah, I think we have a game on board again. Uh, fantastic, okay. Yeah, I, I honestly, I haven't tested the Gudra matchup very much. It's kind of hard to find a Gudra on ladder at this point. And uh, I haven't really been play testing with any friends with this deck because it's just kind of a goofy deck. Definitely tier two. <laughs> we do see the Moisture Star, okay. It's definitely the right move. But um, I think, yeah, losing that Miascarada is gonna make it harder for us to get the full KO we need. Puts 310 there. That was eight, so it has four to work with. Where will that go? It's a good question. Check the discard real quick. We have six energy in the discard pile. One energy retrieval, two energy retrieval. Haven't seen Clara yet. Clara could potentially help us out on that count, get some more energy back into hand. Um, looks like quite a dilemma choosing what to put this four on, but just choosing for the Miascarada. Okay. I don't think that fixes any math. Uh, 270 remaining. Not like you can come up with that with the Gudra. There's an Arceus V-Star, not so helpful. Let's go ahead and hit the quick search. And I think what we just want here is a Clara. Makes the most sense to me. So we get Clara. I don't, I don't see any way we could come up with a KO this turn. If we boss, we're still short on the energy. So yes, Clara for sure. I don't want to put any more basics in play, so let's just grab two energy with it and forget about it. And we can just attach Bouquet Magic on to the Hisuian Gudra or the Manaphy. Let's do Manaphy. Yeah, my opponent's not really going to have any way of clearing that damage. If we need to, we can get it with Radiant Alakazam. So just set us up for a potential um, easy prize soon, later down the line. Even if my opponent has some big boss play here, um, I don't see how they could really cinch a win soon. They need two boss plays if they're going to be able to uh, get around this Miascarada. So, uh, big hand from my opponent. It would have been nice to be able to Iono there, but I definitely needed to Clara and didn't have a way to Iono since we needed to Palpat it back. Not sure if Palpat's in deck either. Let's just double check it's not discarded. It's not. Let's see what my opponent can come up with. Taking a second here, we do see a boss, probably going for the V-Star or the Metacham, okay. Definitely scared of the Yoga Loop, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe trying to strand, that actually, that actually would track, that'd be pretty strong, but we can go with a Cheryl to get it out of the active. We just need one more energy and that would, oh, of course, going for the KO, okay. All right, um, I think that's game. Yeah, we have, we have boss. Yeah, we can quick search for boss, we have game. Fantastic, okay. A little bit tight, a little tighter than I was hoping for, but um, that was a good game for sure. Just shows you Quick Search is a fantastic ability. I feel like it really makes a lot of decks that wouldn't necessarily be valid a lot more uh, strong, a lot more valid, a lot more um, usable. So, big fan of Pidgeot. Oh, jerk. 
conceding before the last prize. So a really fun deck. I love the options you get with Miascarada, being able to spread damage around and, and have these different plays that could potentially pan out. It's been one of my favorite abilities ever since it was printed on Greninja back in like XY base or something. Uh, and you see it take its different shapes and forms every once in a while. And usually it ends up seeing some play. It usually has some placement on a tier list, even if it's not S tier, which certainly I don't think Miascarada is. But if you guys are interested in, in trying it out, maybe changing a few cards, coming up with something that's S tier, I'd love to hear what you change in the comments, but the list is in the description as well as on my PokemonCard.io page, which you can also find the link for in the description. If you're interested in more deck lists like this on my PokemonCard.io, on the channel, you can hit subscribe or ring the bell. You'll see things when they come up. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I've been John with Turnkey TCG. I'll see you guys in the next one.